Uncle Drew is a pure basketball soul. He loves basketball uh, being played the right way. Um, he's kind of purveyor of the game. He's a guardsman of the game, of the, of the great tennis that hold the game. And he believes that the tennis of basketball transfers to life, you know, being a good teammate, selfless, um, working with others, uh, those type of things. And so I think it's great that Uncle Drew gets a chance to uh, show the world that even at our age that you can still be great if you do the little things and if you have teamwork and if you're a family. And so uh, it, to me, he's just uh, happens to be a little bit older, but he's the same basketball player that we all knew uh, when he was doing his thing growing up. It was a lot of fun uh, working with Betty Lou. She was feisty and Lisa's feisty and all Lisa had to do was bring out her playing personality. It would be easy. So uh, it was really great working with her and I really like um, Betty Lou and Preacher's relationship in the movie. I think it has a lot of heart, a lot of sensitivity and um, a lot of humor too. So uh, it was great working with Lisa, Miss Betty Lou. We really like each other. We really hang out. It's not, you know, an ensemble brought together that never met each other. <laughs> we work and we hang with each other all the time. And so the inside jokes that we know, the fun that we have together, hopefully that just um, gives a little confidence and relax the crowd, let them see that, you know, we're really enjoying what we're doing and we're really trying our hardest. And, uh, and I think that's going to add to the feel good of the film and the funny of the film as well. Everybody knows he's the greatest personality on earth, the biggest sports figure that you could that you could have, and uh, he's so cool and humble. He's fun to work with, and so Shaq, that was that was easy. That's that's what he does. Just have fun.